Hey guys, React with Yumi here, and today I'll be reacting to the Moonswatch situation that unfolded recently at MBS, Marina Bay Sands, and this video was brought to my attention by one of my loyal subscribers, which I thought would be fun to react to it. And before I begin, Moonswatch is a collaboration between two major consumer watch brands, Swatch and Omega. And in this article, it says that thousands of people turn up at Marina Bay Sands and Ion Orchard on Saturday, March 26 morning to get their hands on the new Omega X Swatch collaboration. And despite countless of videos of the chaos that ensued, showing the hordes of people descending upon MBS and Ion, a fresh video circulating on TikTok showed the extent of the unhappiness on the ground that day. Okay, let's watch the video. Brand manager of Swatch walks away and says, I'm done. So, I'm sorry, we do not have enough stocks to satisfy all the person or all the people who are queuing tonight. Mm. But remember, this collection is it not limited. Okay, before we continue this even further, it doesn't seem like they're upset because they couldn't get the watch, right? It seems like they're more upset because they waited three hours in line for nothing. And I totally understand that feeling, right? If you told me I had to wait three hours in line for some legendary chicken rice and somehow I couldn't get it, I'll definitely be upset too. So it seems like they stayed around to get a reason, right? Why you guys kept us here? Yes. So now knowing the fact that you don't have enough. The, the, the thing is, right? We, you, you saw how bad it was. Ah, uh, it was not. <laughs> but we are not bad. We are ready. Hey, we were asked. How bad do you like this one? Because of them, of the nine people. If you know you only have a hundred people, why do you allow five hundred people to come in here and waste everybody's time until ten a.m. and tell us, okay, look, we don't have. Please leave. This gentleman and lady are right they did not organize this properly and i'm going to repeat what this lady just said she said that if you know that you're only going to have 100 pieces then why let 500 people wait in line and that makes complete sense like why would you right and the only reason i can think of is because of poor management poor planning or maybe it's simply because they don't give a shit about the people i mean why would they essentially this is free publicity for them right and in singapore there's a lot of like monkey see and monkey do what could have been done and should have been done Let's say you're the manager and you see a line, right? You could still give them a QR code with their number in line and still make them wait in line until the store opens. And then once you reach 100 people, then you tell the person behind the 100 person that, hey, you know what? I'm sorry, we've already reached 100 people and we only have 100 watches in stock right now. But, you're, but feel free to wait around in case someone before you doesn't purchase any watch. But that's a low probability. And if they're still willing to wait, even after you tell everyone the same thing, then that's on them, right? That's not, that's not on you. Because what you want to do early on is to set expectations, right? Right? So people don't get disappointed. If you tell everyone behind the 100 person the same thing, I'm sorry, there's limited stock and they're still willing to queue up, then they're most likely not going to blame you when they can't purchase any watch, right? It's kind of like a mother seeing a child running really fast and asking the child to slow down in case they hurt themselves and they refuse to listen and he or she falls and you know they cry um they, they're gonna cry and whine obviously but they're not gonna blame their mother for for their their mistake right so it's kind of like the same logic and, and you know what if i'm gonna be fair it might very well not be the manager's fault but a lack of sop standard operating procedure from maybe um the management over at swatch for this kind of situation but you know what as a manager you should have some common sense right Let's continue this video. You could have done it last night when you know you have 100 stocks. Get 100 people in the queue and tell them to just move off. I only have 100 pieces. You should announce that by there. You can announce in here. We already organized here. Because if it's not announced. And right now, if you, if you really want to do a service recovery, all you could do was just take our name, our contact number, and what we want. Fulfill the order. When you have the next stock, we, we are not asking for it now. And we will be. You don't even 
Keep on asking her sending email. How you know those people who to kill here? And to be honest, you, right now, you can predict who, who, who kill here then send me the email. Okay, this very angry uncle makes a valid point, right? Anyone can claim that they were waiting in line for Moon's watch, right? Especially after the release of this video. Even I know that maybe I can jump the line for the next stock by just emailing Swatch and saying like, hey, you know what? I was in line at MBS and I didn't get it. Yeah, who knows? <laughs> Good on you, gentlemen sitting on the floor. A perfect solution for everyone. Just like uh, what my favorite lady mentioned, kind of like the same same solution. But this useless manager just keeps nodding and nodding and nodding away. How not to be a manager 101? I like this lady. I'll replace the manager with someone like her. And if you want to create a bus for this, fine, fair enough. Yeah, but just a for your bus, 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 bus. Okay. 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 Okay, so I was kind of right, right? Uh, this manager just explained here that all along Swatch does not have a policy for taking reservations. But do you want to know why they don't take reservations? It's because Swatch watches don't get sold out. Like they're not Rolex or AP or Rich and Hill. Like if it doesn't sell out, why do you need to take reservations if, if the uh, stock is always going to be available? Right, and here's an idea. Like, how hard is it to take down the customers' names and contact information first? Uh, it's not bloody hard at all. Okay, so this manager is just using top management as an excuse, which I find it unacceptable. Um, and this is why action speaks louder than words, because this manager said that he wants everyone to be as happy as possible. Those were his exact words, not mine. Um, and not once did he uh, go along with um, any of the customers' suggestions. Right? Oh boy. In terms of what happened on Carousel, you know, it's not our control. If they want to sell on Carousel, it's not our control. control. Yeah. So what is your control? Then you stupid now. You're very stupid. Alex, Alex. Uh, uh, maybe just one point for me. Okay, Alex. Uh, so I do understand that this is not within your policy that you are going to take in all this. Understood. That is if Swatch did things correctly. We 
were the ones who actually followed the queue. We were the ones who came in. Yes, granted, we came in early, fine, no problem. We were ushered here nicely. We listened to all these uh, the team members here. Yeah, they are structured. Mm -hmm. We sat down quietly. Okay. So, no call at all. I'm not so sure about the security team. I'm not going to point names. Okay. So, this is all about the policy you're talking about is when the thing works. Marketing's not working at the moment. Product's not working at the moment. So, I think this is time for service recovery. I think this is time for service recovery. I know, I hear you, I hear you, I hear you. Service recovery has come up quite a few from all of you, which I understand. But again, like what I say, you know, there's really nothing much. That means there's no service recovery. Yes. No service I cannot take names, I cannot take numbers. That is the thing. Oh, Bochak, man. Everyone just come. I wouldn't say that. Everyone say that. Oh, you cannot say anything like 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 that. Oh, you
definitely not my style but but i do get why people want it though right there's this like omega brand on the watches but you're not paying omega prices because those typically run in the thousands right and this watch is it's only 372 dollars it's way more affordable and you know in primary school my first watch was actually a swatch um, I felt that Casio's Baby G watch, which was really popular at that time as well, um, was too big and heavy for my wrist. So as a kid, I preferred Swatch. So here's what I've done differently if I was Swatch. Let's say there is a limited amount of stock, like maybe 1 million watches, for example, and they're getting sold at $372 and they're sold out worldwide, then you know what? Good for you. But you know who benefits the most? It's the people who are selling it at a much higher price than the original price. And I think I saw an article somewhere that said that many people are selling it um, on Carousel for more than $1,000. And that's like 2x to 3x the original price. And guys, this is not even limited edition. Like why the fuck will you waste your own time to go and queue up for something that's not limited edition? Like what's the fucking point of getting it right now? versus towards maybe the end of the year where there's a higher possibility of the watch getting restocked. Like, do you have such low self-esteem that you have to get the watch right now before everyone else and then get to wear it first for, I don't know, bragging rights um, or maybe to feel good about yourself? Then you have an issue. And I find it weird that they chose to go with this method of marketing because they're not really maximizing the profits they can make. You know, they can say at the start, like they're testing out the uh, interest. So there's only going to be a limited quantity available and allow customers to pre-order online or in stores. Or maybe they can say like there's a long wait list. And if you're interested, you have to pay the full amount first. Like what day and age is it that you have to go to a store physically and queue up to buy something? I haven't done that in a while, have you? And by Swatch doing this whole like, oh, it's only in stores and it's only one per customer kind of marketing, they should have expected this to happen. Like your customers are going to get angry. And if you know that there's already a hype for your products, allow them to order online. So that pretty much sums up my reaction and rant to the whole Moon Swatch uh, situation. Um, I honestly don't know if these people know that um, Omega and Swatch are under the same company. Uh, yeah, guys, they are. Um, so what's the big deal with a parent company collaborating with a subsidiary company, right? If you know the answer, please let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear from you because I truly do not know the answer to that, right? Like, what's the big deal? I, I don't get it. Like, if you tell me that Miu Miu and Prada are doing a collaboration, I'll be like, who cares? But if you say that Hermes is collaborating with Chanel or Richard Mille is collaborating with AP, then yeah, I I'm definitely interested because that's a whole different level right anyway thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to my channel and ring the bell icon so you get notified whenever i post a new video and feel free to follow me on my instagram i'll see you again next time take care and don't waste your time queuing up for something so stupid guys right goodbye